doesn't go anywhere because in today's video I'm going to give you my awesome views, pros and cons to the Canon M100 and why you should buy it. Now for me personally, I think this is a perfect camera for bloggers, perhaps YouTubers, perhaps even a first camera. Why I love this camera? It has a really awesome flip up screen, which is really handy. So when you're, you're filming, you're going around, you're, you know, you're filming yourself and stuff like that, you're going, oh yeah, and all this sort of jazz. So it's really handy for that sort of thing. So that's really cool, really quick and easy to use. I love the kit lens that comes with this. It is a 15 to 45, I can never remember off the top of my head. And it's a great lens. It's the same lens that I use with my Canon M50, um, which I use all the time for making these videos. I'm using this now. So the, the video is just the same. It takes absolutely incredible video for the price, for the money. And you can get one of these actually now, the, um, the M100, for roughly about 200, something like that, 150, 200. And I would recommend having a little look on eBay actually to see what deals you can get. Obviously get one where it has you know, high reviews and that sort of thing, because I don't want any of you getting done over by you know dodgy dealers type of thing. But I would highly recommend this camera for the price because it's just great for that. Now, you know, why do I like this? It has a really easy, I don't think you can see. Yes, there it is, it's zoomed in. It has a really easy to click. Um, record button which is very handy if you just want to click and go record your film and it just has some easy options and you can turn the the light level which is cool and obviously you can just press and off you go like you would on any other camera um, and the photography as you may have seen in a previous video I'll probably put a link to this in the description and on one of the cards within the video um, I did an unboxing of this video I also did a really cool sort of video and photography test so go and check them out after this video um, and what's really cool actually is the photography on all sorts of lighting is really, really good. And even in low light, it just looks absolutely incredible. So for the sort of the price when you think you can spend thousands on a camera, and okay, you know, phones are really good nowadays, but if you just want, you know, I'm sure many of you creators can relate that it's just really nice to have something separate from your phone still. You know, if you're a keen photographer, and for that sort of, you know, around the 200 mark, that's pounds or dollars, depending on what part of the world, you're in this is just a really good camera for you and I just love this camera it's just easy to use you just point and shoot and you know I like messing around with settings sometimes but for those of you that are a bit like me you just want to you know put on a tripod press record and off you go and as long as you've got good audio and good lighting off you go and probably not the best idea to walk backwards but I just thought I would walk backwards because that's just how I roll um, it's just really cool for that so you can just you know on the go walking down the street blogging you know if you're you know a travel blogger or just someone who likes to blog I'd recommend that camera for you guys as a potential camera to look at um, it's just really cool and nifty for that and what's really cool it has interchangeable lenses and um, really easy to click on and off and uh, what's cool with that, if you have an older lens sitting around or you want to get a more expensive lens later, you can do that without buying a whole new camera. And that just, you know, it just widens the creativity, adds options to you down the road and makes this camera very diverse. Now, if you're first time here, I'm Dave from TVR Creators and I make weekly video and YouTube tips to help you grow here on YouTube. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe now. Now, if you're getting value so far on this video, smash that like button because this camera will give you absolute value, I promise you. Now, the cons, now please don't worry, I'm not gonna be like, this camera does this and this, whoa! No, it's nothing like that. It's just, just some little things I've just discovered while I use this camera over the last few weeks. I just thought I'd point out to you guys because I want to be as honest and, you know, see through as possible. Now, one little thing I did find a little bit annoying um, when you take out the S, I don't know if you can see that, let's see if it gets into focus, yeah. So when you take out the SD card, um, I've just found you you have to sort of lift the screen um, before it will open and I've actually pointed at the wrong bit, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But the SD card is here, can you see that when it focusing again? There it is. So it's just in there and I've just found that you have to, you have to lift up the screen to then pull the cap to get to the SD card, if you can see that, sort of just in there. And I know that's only a minor thing, but I've just found that a bit of a nuisance. I'm always worried I'm gonna break the screen in the quickness of, of changing the SD card. Just a very minor, minor thing. And the only other big thing, actually, if you're a keen content creator and you want to take video especially, 
is it doesn't have a microphone jack, which is a bit of a disappointment, but for the price, you know, it doesn't bother me too much, um, which is, you know, nifty. You know, the internal microphone is fine if you're filming indoors or you're just doing blogging and, you know, you sort of spare men from a video. But obviously, if you want that better audio, you'd have to record the audio separately on your phone or dictaphone or perhaps get different cameras, sadly. So that's a bit of a drawback. But for the price, you can still get one of these for about 200. That's brilliant. When you think something like the, the Canon M50 is about five, 600, especially if you get the Mark II, the Sony ZV-1, etc. you know, they're talking 600 plus. So it's a bit of a price difference. So it's all down to what you can afford as well. And this hatch is the um, the old brother of its replacement, the Canon M200, um, which actually just costs about 500. And I don't believe that has a mic jet, mic jack either. But if you do live streams, it is a bit easier to set up. So that's something to bear in mind. And obviously has you know a better sensor and it has a few more options. But when you think you can get the Canon M100 still, and I will link uh, a. A link to that in the description if you're interested but me personally I would highly recommend just going on eBay and just having a look for one of these beauties if you're a blogger or you're just getting started or maybe if you're just a keen photographer you just want a, a small camera and that's another cool thing I forgot to mention actually it's really small so you know when you're carrying about that sort of thing which does lead me to the final con that I wanted to mention before I, I carry on this video is because the screen faces backwards where on the M50 for example it faces inwards or you can make it face inwards it is a bit prone to being scratched if you're not too careful. So make sure you get some sort of case or cover for it so you don't damage it. That's my only sort of real, real gripe. But apart from that, the cons are far outweighed and brushed aside by the pros to this awesome camera. And would I recommend this camera, especially as a second camera for creators or if you're a keen photographer or if you're just getting started or if you're a blogger, I would highly recommend at least looking at this camera and perhaps getting it as your B camera. If you wanna do like thumbnails, you wanna do B-roll, film under cameras that is your main camera or you filming stuff like that like I've done in the videos so I'd highly recommend this camera it's just a brilliant little cool camera and if you want to support the brand check out our merch there'll be a link to that in the description we've got mugs and t-shirts and all that jazz smash the like button if you're getting value because you know why not hit the value button so in a moment I'm going to add two end cards that are going to be like camera reviews and other videos that I feel give you value and if you got value from today's video, smash the like button and consider subscribing. If this is your first time here, I'm Dave from TBR Creators and I make weekly YouTube video tips help you grow here on YouTube. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe now. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. You guys rock.